protesters who have crowded the downtown area and even threatened visitors. Officials for the museum defended the It's close by. It's a nice ride. Looks like the area is under renovation. The site's close to the public, Mike. You shouldn't run into any civilian. El Samad? What are they doing here? Must be the connection Shahid mentioned. I'm going in for a closer look. to see how the renovations are going. These munitions finding their way into Rome. Better destroy them while I'm here. That's one. What is this place? If it's beneath the bath, it's probably where they kept the fires to heat up the bath water. So, you majored in architecture? No. Ancient Roman plumbing. Your signal's breaking up a little, Mike. Must be the ghosts down here. Are you in the catacombs? Yeah, but not for much longer. Curses. up like this if Halbeck fucks it up. You and me both.
linked all the transmissions to this station. But I'll need some time to trace the signal's origin. So, I just stand here and wait? Now you know how I feel. Just make sure nothing interferes with the station until I finish the trace. Then? Then? What then? We've got trouble, don't we? Protect the trace, Mike. If we lose it now... Don't worry, they're not getting anywhere near it. I got plenty of bullets. Facing my tracks and the weapons. movie stuff. That's why I have one of your shock traps, just in case. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mike. It's just that between you and Marburg, I'm really not sure which one of you is worse. Goodbye. Madison, if you go, he'll kill you. God, I miss Moscow. for an hour. Where have you been? My roommate attacked me. <laughs> Madison? What do you mean attacked? Statue. Twice. Then a shock trap. She physically attacked you? Why? Oh, I said some things. And her questions were getting on my nerves. She's even accused me of kidnapping her. Well, you kind of did. Oh, not you too. Tell me this day can't get any worse. Then I have bad news for you. That information you got from the warehouse and the communications array downloads, I think I've pinpointed Marburg's target. Which sounds like more bad news. I've sent it to your mission briefing screen. And if Marburg has taken Madison, then he's probably taken her there to make sure she dies in the explosion. Explosion? Trust me, Mike. You have to hurry.
I'm in the museum. Mike, I just picked something up on the cameras. It's Marburg's men. They have Madison. Great. was there. Is there anyone in the museum? It's normal hours. A few tour groups, security guards. It's a light day for tourists. That's still a lot of people if the bomb goes off. I won't let it happen.
Agent Thornton. You made it. Good. That makes things... interesting. We have Madison. She's being held in the west wing of the museum. My men have orders to execute her. That where your bombs are too? No, the bombs are with me. At the Crusades exhibit. You won't have time to reach both. Either way, someone dies. You're right about that, Marburg. Why don't you stay put? I'll be right there. Left or right, Thornton. Your choice. Madison. Or coming after me and the bombs. There's not time for both. Mike, Madison. She's in the wing to your left, but the bombs are in the wing to the right. Which way should I go? I don't know. They've Mike. sealed off the entrance to the other wing. Guess there's only one way to go. Mike, I'm picking up some interference on the channel. And judging from the frequencies, there's some proximity mines near your location. I'll keep an eye out. You brought it on her. You psychopathic son of a bitch. Enough of this. Thought you could have. Stay focused. Watch yourselves. Keep on struggling. Okay. Expected more from a self-appointed hero. You are disposable and obsolete. It beats being dead, but you'll know all about that in a minute. I think you'll see Miss St. James before I do, Thornton. Keep talking. It lets me know where to shoot. Enough of this. Damn it, he's getting away. There's nothing you can do now, Mike. Get out of there. There'll be another time.
so you chose Rome. I underestimated you. Marburg did not. He said you cared little for the woman, but I wasn't so sure. Nothing to be done about it now. Marburg killed her. I hope you don't blame me for her death. Marburg wanted you to save her. Not out of any emotional tie, mind you. For him, it was business. Tragedy in the wake of the Porta Terra attack on the ruins of Karsule. A shame. A second attack but you can't save everyone, Michael. Life with American employee of no. If I had been in your shoes, well, uh, I don't know what I would have done. So you tried to blow up a museum and murder innocent people. I still don't see how that little stunt was supposed to help you unless you plan to corner the market on terrorism. Really? That's because you have a very narrow view of events. <sighs> Lectures on perspective from a blind man? That's a first. You planning on teaching about ethics next? I can't expect you to keep up with every news report. I have an entire division devoted to it. Plus my speculation that this attack represents a bombing was intended to reorganize terrorist legislation in the European and the United States. So what? How does that benefit you? The reorganization was to benefit Hellbeck. Surveillance, airport screening tech, weapons. Mr. Marburg's little crusade in Rome was to remind Europe what fear is. So you killed Madison for profit? No, Mike. You did. You brought her into this mess. You had her take you to Marburg despite the risks, and then you failed to protect her. Blame me all you want, but step back and think about it. You must have thought about it. When it was all over, you were the big hero. Saved all of Rome. When things were quiet, no one shooting at you. No bombs. What did you think about then? Operator? Uh, hello? Or else what? Or people you care about will start to die. risking a lot getting this message to you, so I need you to listen. Saying please every once in a while couldn't hurt. Taipei, Rome, Moscow. As far as the agency is concerned, they've been resolved to Halbeck's satisfaction. Perhaps not ideally, but Halbeck's projections are optimistic. Well, that'll be fun until the actual war starts. So what, they're just gonna sit back and let the cash registers fill? Not yet. First they'll delete Alpha Protocol and erase everything associated with it. That doesn't leave me much to work with. And you're all I've got. What do I care if they shut down Alpha Protocol? I may just be wasting my breath. But if Alpha Protocol is erased, then you're erased. Whatever identity you had, whatever life you had, it's gone. You'll be rogue forever. Until someone finds you and kills you. What about Halbeck? There has to be something to pin on them. After Alpha Protocol is buried, it's all over. Halbeck's involvement will be covered up. The operations in Moscow, Taipei, and Rome will never see the light of day. All we'll see are the consequences. They don't have the full picture. They think they're starting a cold war that they can live off of for years. If Halbeck isn't exposed, if Alpha Protocol isn't exposed... Or both. It's up to you. I honestly don't know if you care. Maybe you'd actually like to see Halbeck answer for what it did. Or maybe somewhere in you there's still some sense of duty to your government. Who knows? And you? Why do you care? About you? I don't care about you. I care about stopping what's about to happen. I've read your dossier, Mina. You spent your whole life serving the United States. So I guess I need a little more on what your agenda is. If you can get to Alpha Protocol, Mike, I can answer all your questions. Before I do anything, answer one for me. Are you the one who set me up? Not... Not in the way you think. I didn't send that missile to your location. 
that I did cut you off from the agency. I used Alpha Protocol for its intended purpose. And I got to be the victim? I deserve to know why. I saw your dossier, Mike. And I thought you were someone who would do what's right. So I saved you from the missile and helped you go rogue. And I purposely cut you off from Westridge. So who are you actually working for? I can't discuss that, Mike. But they want to prevent what's about to happen. And they want to see programs like Alpha Protocol shut down. Even if they hurt the United States? Alpha Protocol isn't the United States, Mike. And if stopping Alpha Protocol prevents World War III, then it's in the world's interests, not ours. So, just find a top secret facility, God knows where, defeat the folks that trained me, along with a battalion of agents and marines, recover the evidence of an international conspiracy, and, oh, prevent World War III. Anything else? If you want more, I'll pile it on. No, you've made enough of a mess already. It's up to me to fix it before you make it any worse. What are you going to do? Call in a few favors. If Alpha Protocol thinks it's the only one with an army, they're in for a shock. World War III is it on the horizon. A recent European Union study published by the Scarpacci Group, a Rome-based political... Points of concern, including a sharp upswing in terrorist activity in the past month, the assault on the United States Embassy in Moscow, and China's increasing mobilization in the wake of Taiwanese independence rallies as evidence that a global conflict of unprecedented proportions may be closer than we think. A new museum exhibit has caused chaos in the streets of Rome. The Roman Museum of Natural